the Phasmatidae are an order of insects whose members are variously known as stick insects, stick bugs, walking sticks, stick animals, or bug sticks. They are also occasionally referred to as devil's darning needles, although this name is shared by both dragonflies and craneflies. A tree stands in a forest under a cloudy sky. Suddenly it appears as if a twig is crawling down the trunk. The object isn't actually a twig that's sprung legs, it's a stick insect. The stick-like trickster uses its appearance to protect itself from enemies so it doesn't end up in, well, a sticky situation. Stick insects, also known as walking sticks, live in tropical and temperate, or mild, forests all over the world. Related to grasshoppers, crickets, and mantises, these creepy crawlies are usually brown, green, or black. They are also the world's longest insects. The largest one ever found stretched 22 inches with its legs extended. Most are only up to 12 inches long. This bug spends much of its time in trees, munching on leaves. When predators such as birds approach, the insect tries to remain completely still in order to blend with the branches. If a predator isn't fooled and grabs the bug by the leg, it's no big deal. The insect can detach the leg and scuttle away. It will later regenerate, or grow back, the lost limb. About 3,000 species of stick insects exist. Some are master mimics even before they hatch. The females from these species lay eggs that look like plant seeds. This prevents carnivorous insects from eating the eggs. This crawler really knows how to go undercover. Stick insects, as their name implies, are insects that have taken camouflage and imitation to the extreme by developing the appearance of a stick, leaf, or twig. Typically, these insects are shades of brown, although some may be green, black, gray, or blue. When camouflage is not enough, some stick insects use active forms of defense to handle predators. For example, Uricantha calcarata can release an awful smelling substance as a deterrent. Others have brightly colored wings that are invisible when folded against their body. When they feel threatened, they flash open their wings, then immediately drop to the ground and again hide their wings. The predator is often confused as it searches for a brightly colored insect but sees only a pile of drab, brown sticks on the ground. Other defenses are easier to spot, as with the Peruvian fire stick. It releases a milky white substance that is an irritant to predators. As a result, they have the memorable red, black, and yellow colors of a distasteful, or disagreeable, insect. About masters of disguise, stick insects, as their name implies, are insects that have taken camouflage and imitation to the extreme by developing the appearance of a stick, leaf, or twig. Typically, these insects are shades of brown, although some may be green, black, gray, or blue. When camouflage is not enough, some stick insects use active forms of defense to handle predators. For example, Uricantha calcarata can release an awful smelling substance as a deterrent. Others have brightly colored wings that are invisible when folded against their body. When they feel threatened, they flash open their wings, then immediately drop to the ground and again hide their wings. The predator is often confused as it searches for a brightly colored insect but sees only a pile of drab, brown sticks on the ground. Other defenses are easier to spot, as with the Peruvian fire stick. It releases a milky white substance that is an irritant to predators. As a result, they have the memorable red, black, and yellow colors of a distasteful, or disagreeable, insect. Habitat and diet stick insects are found on all continents except Antarctica. They live in tropical forests and woodlands throughout the world. You might think that stick insects hide among sticks on the ground, hoping to blend in, but most stick insects are usually found sitting right out in the open within the leaves of a tropical tree. They usually stay perfectly still, but when they need to move, they are even able to camouflage their motion. It is common to see them walk in a swaying motion, pretending to be a twig caught by the wind. Other stick insects have lichen-like outgrowths on their bodies that help camouflage them on tree bark. Because stick insects make a very nutritious and filling meal for many birds, reptiles, spiders, and primates, they are mostly nocturnal so as not to be found so easily. Even though stick insects can sometimes avoid diurnal predators, they are not safe from bats. 
Echolocation used by bats can help them hone in on the tiny noises made by stick insects for a tasty meal. The stick insect's elaborate camouflage doesn't help them in the dark. It's a good thing, bats are not fooled by stick insect camouflage, without bats to eat them, we could find ourselves living a little too close for comfort with millions of stick insects. One of the most interesting things about stick insects is their ability to reproduce parthenogenetically. This is a form of asexual reproduction where the unfertilized females produce eggs that hatch into females. If a male fertilizes the egg, it has a 50-50 chance of turning out male. If no males are around, the line continues with females only. You've probably realized by now that stick insects have developed adaptations to fool predators. Clever ways to lay eggs are also included in their bag of tricks.